Well, Mark, uh, on your first return to King's Home this weekend, uh, must be exciting and, and a bit weird, I'd imagine, going back there. Yeah, definitely. I think it's always strange people going back to their old clubs, but uh, hopefully I've played there long enough and played well enough and sort of, like, you know, put, put myself into the club that get a nice reception and uh, we get booed off the pitch. <laughs> and it wasn't like I ever went and took the cash, so uh, no, hopefully be, I'm looking forward to it. King's Home's a, a pretty special place to go and play rugby. You know better than most in the Chiefs squad all about it, don't you? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, over the years I was there, they always prided themselves on their home record and very knowledgeable crowd um, and always fantastic support, you know, week in, week out. Um, the tendency to be a bit fickle sometimes, you know, if the, if the rubber the green's not going their way and uh, they have a special love for Stuart Barnes. You'll get away. In, in years to come, you'll go down in, in folklore at Exeter Rugby Club as the man who scored the first ever Premiership try. I suppose it's extra special it was against Gloucester for you. Yeah, definitely. You know, it has to be uh, probably one of, the, one of the highlights of my career so far. I think you know, gone, gone down to the Championship and then you know, come up with the club and played such a big part last season. And then you know to be involved in that, you know, score first try for the club for their first time in the Premiership against my old club. You really get much more special than that. Do you think Gloucester may have underestimated the Chiefs that first game of the season? Yeah, I think you know. I think a lot of clubs underestimated the Chiefs, you know, for the first half of the season. But you know, it's, uh, it's that's, that's long gone now. Everybody knows that you know on our day we can compete with anybody. And um, you know, I think even the result last weekend shows that you know, a losing bonus point against Leicester, you know, a year ago, two years ago, we probably would have taken that with both hands. But the reality is now, you know, the guys are disappointed. You know, felt we should have won the game, much like the, the result up there. How, how was the move in the camp? In because it was obviously great disappointment after that. You put in another terrific effort against the Tigers and. Uh, well, we got a point this time, but even so, like you said, we could have got a win out of it. Yeah, it's you know, it's, it's one of those things. The Premiership now is so competitive that you know, the, and the turnaround is so short, especially on a six-day turnaround like it is this week. We you have to you know, you go in Monday, you analyse the game, you, you see the bits that went wrong, the bits that went right, and then you start again. You know, you have to put it behind you. Any mistakes, you know, you have to just try and improve week in, week out, so you know you can be the best you can possibly be next Saturday. Already we've shown that we can win at the big grounds, like at Saracens, for example. This weekend would set down another marker for the club. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, they've, uh, they've had a bit of mixed form coming into this game, so you know, we're looking to kind of like you know really really up our game and hopefully make it a really physical battle up front. You know, something that the Kings own crowd can get behind. Hopefully, we'll have a good trailing support with us. So you know, to go out there and get a result this weekend would be it would be a huge thing for us. What about the Chiefs' support this year on the road? It's been fantastic, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been incredible. You know. One thing when I was at Gloucester it was always, you know, the, the shed on tour. Um, but I think, you know, the, the support we've had this year is, is absolutely incredible. I think, um, you know, wherever we've been, all over the country, even all over the world, um, we've had incredible support. Um, always the most vocal, you know, where at Cardiff, I remember, um, you know, by a country mile, you know, the most vocal sports there. Excellent. Brilliant.